Hey guys, Dr. Arlen Hill here today with PaleoLifestyleDoctor.com and I want to start it out by talking about weight loss and the microorganism balance. How many of you have ever heard about being able to balance the microorganisms in the, in the gut as a way to help promote weight loss? Probably hardly no one. It's not something that's really talked about a lot, but it has a very significant impact on it. There have been some very unique studies that have been done out there that show that the balance of microorganisms in the gut, and depending on the type of microorganisms that predominate in your gut, have a very strong influence over whether or not you can lose weight. Now, these, these microorganisms break down into two larger categories. The first one of these that I'm going to introduce you to is going to be known as firmicuities. Firmicutes, if that grouping predominates in your gut, if most of the microorganisms in your GI tract are of a firmicutes or, uh, origin, then or under that category, then you can think about this as being associated with fat. I always like to make correlations here in that uh, F and the firmicutes, we think about that as being associated with the F and the fat. The reason that this is important is that these firmicutes are going to enhance the extraction of calories from your food. They're going to make it more difficult for you to lose weight if they're more prevalent in your gastrointestinal tract. So we want to flop that. What we want to see is we want to have a higher percentage of bacteroides. We want that bacteroide percentage to be able to balance out these firmicutes. Now the way we think about the bacteroides here, again we want to use that first letter, that B, and we're going to think about that as that's going to keep us beautiful. Right? So if we're not gaining fat, then we're staying lean, we're staying shapely, and that's going to keep us in the image that we want to. We're going to find it easier to lose weight. Balancing out our, or achieving our weight loss goals and balancing out this microenvironment becomes much easier when we're consuming the right type of foods. So if we want the right microorganism environment, we have to have the right type of foods consistently as a part of our diet. These are going to be the things that are real colorful in our diet. Our fruits, our vegetables, those are going to have the, thing, the, the part of those foods that gives them that color, their antioxidants. That's going to be what is going to help influence these different microorganisms. When these firmicuities are exposed to that, they have difficulty growing. Bacteroides aren't negatively affected by that, so they'll enhance their growth. So guys, if you're serious about the whole weight loss process, but you're not taking a look at the balance between the spermicuities and, and bacteroides, what's known as the adiposity index, or probably more simply stated, your fat index, then you're probably not getting to one of the core elements of helping you support that weight loss effort. So guys, take a look at this. This is easy to, to assess with a couple of quick lab tests. So again, guys, Weight loss and microorganism balance. Appreciate you taking the time to, to go over this today. Dr. Arland Hill with PaleoLifestyleDoctor.com.